Hi everyone, it's Julia with Hugs and Stitches. And today I thought I'd show you what I've been working on this week. Um, I, I got this new t-shirt. It's the Alternative Earth brand. And I really like it. Um, I've had the Alternative shirts in my line the last couple, three years. Um, but this is a new style for me. It's a very soft t-shirt and lightweight. It's like a 4.4 ounce. Um, it has a really nice feel to it, a nice drape to it. Another thing I really like about it, it's a unisex size, so it's not clingy. Um, when you're my age, you really don't want things to cling. So I really like that about it. And another thing too, it's it's like I said, it's it's soft and lightweight, but it's it's not sheer. Um, so it's just a you can layer it if you want. You can put a tank top underneath it. You, you can layer it with a jacket over the top. Um, and it's just short, short sleeve. But I thought I would show you what I've kind of been working on um, and also give you some tips on how I do that my free motion applique. For this particular shirt, I've decided I'm just to do a tone on tone. So it's kind of subtle, um, very casual. Um, and the, the shirt itself, because it's a unisex sizing, is the, the extra larges and the 2X are very long. So I actually cut those off and rehem them. And that's the fabric that I use for my design. I do use the, uh, the my Sizzix die cut to get the circles. And then the stem is actually part of the bottom also. And I just gently pull the strip so it curls. And that's what the stem, the stem is. So I thought I would show you a little bit about like I said, there might come as some of my steps in um, my machine applique. I'm going to adjust here a little bit. When I machine applique, this is just a very basic, very basic sewing machine. It has my straight stitch. It has a few of the utility stitches on it. Um, you do not need a fancy machine to, mach to free motion applique. It takes a little bit of practice, however. Um, just patience and practice and you can you can become a you can just you can do it but the machine itself the only thing I I do differently is I change the, the foot and I change the foot to um, the embroider foot um, some some machines are some sometimes they're called a darner foot this particular machine did not come with this foot I bought it with from my machine, my, my sewing machine dealer. Um, but I think you can also get these um, probably online. But also, I think Joanne Fabrics carry them. Most Joanne Fabrics stores carry sewing machines, so you could probably pick one up there. Um, but I don't do anything else as far as changing the tension or changing the stitch width. Um, I and I leave my feed dogs up. Some instances when I'm machine when I do my free motion, I will drop the feed dog, especially if it's a little bit of a thicker fabric. But this is a light lighter weight fabric, and I so I completely just leave them. I leave that alone. A little bit of the prep work that I do um, when I before I um, before I start on my shirt. This, like I mentioned, is from a die cut. The circles, and I do put the. Um, on the back side, the heat and bond light. I iron that on the back of the of the design, and then iron that onto the shirt, so it's in place. It's secure when I'm while I'm sewing. The stem, however, does not have any of the heat and bond underneath it, so that I I pin in place. You also need to have on the back side a stabilizer. And I have just laid this on the back and I kind of feel underneath my shirt just to make sure that it completely covers the entire design. This t-shirt knit is so lightweight that you really do need a stabilizer underneath it. I'll show you a little bit more of a close-up of this stabilizer. See if you can see that or not, but it is perforated. And this is my favorite stabilizer for t-shirt knits. It's called Easy Tear. I get it online through fabric.com. Um, but I think I think, think you can get it on a bolt though at Joanne Fabrics. Um, I buy it by the bolt because I go through so much of it. But it's soft and it, it tears very easily. So when when it's done, you know, I just rip the backing or rip it off the back of my work. 
Um, some of it stays on the back of the t-shirt, but because of the softness of this, it doesn't interfere with wearing or it, do it doesn't irritate your skin. It just kind of, and it gets just gets softer as you wash it and wear it. So that stabilizer goes on the back. So then what I do, get it underneath my sewing machine here. Make sure that that stabilizer is completely underneath everything. So I just kind of feel with my hands again and make sure that it's all in place. And it is, and nothing's bunched up. Okay. I kind of treat this like I'm drawing with my sewing machine. Um, I hope you can hear, hear me as I sew here, but I am going to drop my feed dogs. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth a little bit to secure my stitch, kind of tie a knot. And then I am just going to free motion this, um, relax with it, and have fun, and let it just color outside the lines. I'm going to make kind of little petal designs with it. Now I'm going to go over the, the outside of the circle here with the same kind of petal design. And then on this, this inside circle, you're not going to be able to see the stitching at all because I'm using black. I'm just going to do a spiral. I'm just going to go around the circle and then spiral to the center. And now I'm gonna go down and do the stem. Now notice I didn't even, I just steer all over my design. I don't have to ever really lift up the presser foot, um, which is really, it, like I said, is, is really rela relaxing. Um, and you can go forward and backwards and up and down and it's great. So here I go, I'm going down my stem and I'm going to just kind of kind of almost do like a zigzag look down this stem. I'll take my pins out. This little petal here, I'm go I am going to lift it up and kind of squish this underneath a little bit. And going to kind of meander, meander out on this little stem or this little leaf and then here I go down the rest of it. I'm going to feel to make sure what I've got underneath here. Yeah, I've got my stabilizer all the way to the end here. I'm going to go back up a little bit and just put some more stitches in there. Secure this little petal a little bit better. And I'm going to tie my knot again up here. And I'm just going to go in a couple circles. Okay, now I'm clipping my threads. Clipping underneath. Also, pulling it off of here. There we go. A cute little design. Um, the back side has my stabilizer, which I'm just going to gently pull this off, and it'll stop right where my seam line goes. And on the other side, too. And there it is. I hope this has inspired you to um, try free motion applique. Um, don't be scared of it. It does take some practice, but it's very, like I said, very relaxing and re really a, a fun way, um, a fun way to put your designs on. Um, you can get my shirts in my Etsy store and I'll link that to you. Um, that's all. Have a great day. Bye.